Hi guys, um, I'm back again with another video. Uh, in the previous video, remember it showed you a sequence where I was using the first column and the second column to predict the number that was going to come. So I noticed that uh, in this week uh, the sequence was being used again to predict the number that was going to come in the next row. So if you notice, using the first columns and the second column you get the number that is going to come so i discovered or oh, i saw that the sequence started on tuesday the 12th of 12th of january 2020 so if i focus on the first column of tuesday the lunch time results and the first column of the tea time results with the number there's a number 13 and the number 15 so you to say 15 minus 13, your answer will be equal to 2. And then if you say 17, 17, which is on the two time results in the second column, plus 2, you get the answer is 19. Here's number 19. Then moving, moving forward again. Uh, now for want to predict the number that was going to come in the t-time results so you have the number 15 and uh, the number 9 so you say 15 plus 9 your answer will be equal to 24 then if you say 24 plus 12 12, which is on the uh, second column of the lunchtime results, you get the answer 36. So here's the number 36, and then moving forward to getting the number that is going to come on the lunchtime results of the Thursday draw. Again, use the first columns, the number 9 and 1, if you say 9. Uh, minus 1 you get the answer is 8 and if you say 14 plus 8 your answer will be equal to 22 and I uh, notice that the number 22 came on the last time results of Thursday move forward again with the sequence <laughs> if the number three and one on the first columns say three minus one get the answer is two if you say ten plus two the answer will be equal to twelve and I uh, notice that the number twelve came on the Thursday T time results so let me just wrap here and uh, move forward with this my illustration just wrap here Now to predict the number that was going to come on uh, the Friday last time results, you can use the first columns. With the number three plus three, we go to six. And then get the number twelve on the second column. Say twelve minus six. Answer of equal to six. The so if you say twelve minus six, you notice that the number six came on the Friday lunchtime results. Again, moving forward, you have the number two and the number three. So if you say 2 
plus 3 get the answer is 5 if you say number in the second column 6 minus 5 get the answer is 1 this is the number 1 move forward again with the sequencing with the number 2 and 1 if you say 2 minus 1 answer will be equal to 1 and if you say 8 minus 1 answer be equal to 7 here is the number 7 move forward again with the number 3 and 1 if you say 3 minus 1 the answer will be equal to 2 if you say 7 minus 2 the answer will be equal to 5 is number five and if you add here get the answer is four so then eight here get the answer is eleven here's the number eleven so with the proper analysis and uh, studying you always uh, get the number and the guys always say in my videos if you use these methods together with your methods you can be able to predict number and uh, you're always able to get a single if you stick properly you can always get something and it's all about patience so sometimes you win sometimes you lose but uh with proper starting and uh, using these methods like you stand a chance of getting something unlike when you're guessing you always get something new so that's all i have for this video don't forget to like the video subscribe and share with your friends and it's always good to share the knowledge thank you